Um, this slide here is very important to talk about. Um, as was shown in Neil's data set, um, it's important to recognize that although we've been dealing with diagnostic support for sepsis for quite some time, the truth is, is that we lack a clinically validated, verified diagnostic criteria for the diagnosis of sepsis. Um, as many of you in the audience know, uh, Sears is now dead, and the working definition of sepsis now, as part of the uh, international group that published in JAMA a, years, a year ago, has now defined sepsis as life-threatening organ um, failure uh, due to uh, host response systems. Um, so we've continued to see a number of cases um, where we recognize sepsis as a clinical entity in the patient for which diagnostic support needs to step up. Uh, I see a few colleagues in the audience that I recognize on the clinical lab side. Um, and this is one of the challenges, I think, one of the most frustrating components from the laboratory side. When we see these patients with high lactates, with high white counts, that people come to us and say, do we have anything growing yet? And we need to recognize this in the context of this data. So I'm going to walk you through it here and identify roughly 100 102, 102 positive infections that were pulled out of the trial that's represented in this data set here. Uh, paired T2 blood cultures alongside identified 35 of 39. But importantly, just as Neil showed, there were 63 cases for which a T2 positive signal that a blood culture was negative in. Um, these working definitions are defining the totality of sepsis in regard to organ dysfunction. And for many of these cases, in fact, for all of these cases, they met certain clinical bars associated with sepsis, including the use of additional high titer positive samples from other organs representative in a septic patient. Uh, so these cases are still under adjudication, but they're taken to be a, a further insight into the recognition of sepsis from a new diagnostic modality. And this is going to be the integration of these new technologies alongside what laboratories have been able to offer for years. Blood cultures are not going away, but this is the new integration of new tools and new skills that allow us to identify sepsis in ways that we've been unable to do it previously. So very exciting data.